On the border between France and Italy there is a place that to call scenic is an understatement where you can visit an ancient fort. Today I will show it to you, but first, hi, I'm Lawrence and I'm here to tell you many stories around the world from my human point of view. Before starting, help me to grow this project, snap me a like and subscribe. Back to us, if you are wandering around the valleys of Cuneo and want to take a little stroll in France, you can get there in several ways. A popular option is to use the Tenda Tulner near at Limone Piemonte, but if you are daring and want to explore a bit, you can visit the Tenda Pass that was exactly where I was. This is the perfect location for a fast and exciting hike. You can reach many interesting places. For example, today I decided to take you to visit one of the most important forts in the area, Pernante Fort. So, after parking the car, exploring this bunker a bit, meeting this very strange kind of snake, I took my wide mule truck. The path continued with a quiet slope towards the fort, and after half an hour I reached the top of the hill where the fort lay motionless and unchanging in all its grandeur. There are many forts in the area, this is one of the most easy accessible, one day I will take you to visit the others as well, but we will need a little more time for some and sure even more or less if we talk about the central fort. However, this fort was built in the late 19th century to protect the border with France. It's called Forte Pernante and is particularly beautiful because of the presence of this mountain, the Abyss Rock, in Italian Rocca dell'Abisso, which dominates untamed and unmitigated from its 2755 meters altitude. Well, I had a great time. After looking at this beautiful fort from above, I still had some time left, so I decided to reach a peak not very far from there, the Salauta Peak. But in order to do that I had to go down and then back up by walking along this little trail. Going down was no problem at all, but as I walked uphill I realized the terrible mistake I was making. So, looking from behind, I paused for a moment to breath in the fresh mountain hair before approaching the climb. In the end, it was very fast. Hard and steep, but fast. It was easy because as you walk you have to follow these little stone towers that take you to the top. So, after 20 minutes, the peak. The grumpy face of the abyss rock was watching me from above. I was a little scared but also happy and after signing the book of the peak with a quote from one of my favorite video games, having a lot of fun reading everything the other hikers had written and imagining the various strange characters who had reached this summit, I decided to eat one of my famous not so tasty lucky sandwiches, enjoying every moment of that wonderful view. 
Unfortunately, my time was running out, so I decided to go in back to the base. As I went down, retracing as you see the steep path, I was reflecting on all that I had just experienced, when suddenly I was caught by a flash of awareness. I realized something very important that day, namely, that there are no answers up there at the highest forts in Limone, but one can certainly ask some questions looking at the face of the abyss rock.